Hi everyone, Samantha Fry Sew A Lot and quick video today um, all about my um, September makes. Um, I didn't do a plans obviously last month because like I said in my last video um, I was uh, going to the handmade fair and I was also going to the Sewn Bee Live so um, I didn't know what I was going to pick up so I didn't know what my plans were going to be. I did obviously have plans to buy fabric um, but sadly um, when I went to the handmade fair I did buy two um, pieces of fabric but when I went to the Great British Sewn Bee much to my disappointment, um, I was far too busy chatting to all the other lovely sewists that I met that uh, I didn't actually purchase anything. So all my lovely birthday money that I had back in August, which I've been saving, remained in my purse. Um, however, don't fear. Um, never fear, in fact, um, I have recently, um, if you follow me on Instagram you'll have seen, had a trip to the lovely Sewist Faction headquarters um, for a sew along with my uh, lovely fellow bloggers and I've managed to purchase some really, really lovely fabric there, um, which is going to feature in my October makes. Um, I'm not sure um, about a plans video because I have actually already started my October makes um, but I might be able to show you um, a bit of what I've got left. So, um, carrying on with the satisfaction theme, um, my first make for this month was the Beatrix Top by the lovely Made by Ray. Um, it's a pattern that um, satisfaction is stocking now, a paper pattern, um, but you can also buy it as a PDF on the Made by Ray site. Um, and um, I made it um, as part of my Satisfaction Blogger Team post. So if you want to check out all the details and some more close up photos um, of it, then if you head over to the Satisfaction blog, then uh, you should be able to find it there. Um, I'll put the link um, to it here. Um, but as you can see, I made it from their four ounce wash denim and it's got a really, really nice curved hem. Um, it's got a facing all the way around um, and on the back, hopefully you can see uh, but the lighting is rubbish. Um, it's got a button placket, let me see if I can get a bit closer, a button placket and um, I've put cover buttons on there. Um, you are supposed to have um, button holes on there but um, I could get it over my head really easily so I cheated and I didn't do button holes, um, I just stitched my buttons on. Um, also, I have my new sewing machine like I've said before and I haven't quite mastered my buttonholes yet on there so um, I couldn't be bothered to get my old sewing machine out as well so um, yes I just sewed my buttons on a really really great pattern um, it uh, was really really easy to sew together went together really well the sleeves went in first time I didn't have any trouble with those um, really really simple and really quick make I think it probably took me about I don't know, an hour and a half, something like that, to sew it together. A really lovely make. And the fabric, um, it's really nice, obviously, like the description says, it's soft, um, wash denim, it's like, uh, softer than a cotton, but a similar weight to sort of a, a quilting cotton. Um, but yeah, I really love it, and it goes with lots of stuff, so I'm going to wear it loads. So the next uh, make, which I think actually goes really well with this top, is uh, part of the Cozy Cardi Challenge. Like I said in my previous video, I've been absolutely obsessed with cardigans um, and all the talk about cardigans with everyone has just made me want to sew them non-stop. So uh, this, week, this month um, it has been a bit cardigan heavy, I have to admit. So I have made the Helen's Closet Blackwood cardigan and I'll show you. Um, it, I went for the long length, so as you can see it's sort of mid-thigh on me. Um, I, I went with the pockets as well and they're just about the size. Um, I can't remember what size I cut. I think, I can't, no I can't remember. I think I cut like a 36. If it comes in imperial sizes, I think that's what, what I cut. But I just used a cotton interlock that I had in my stash which is perfect. Um, I really like the slim fit arms, but if you do have a wider bicep, you might want to um, increase the width of that. And I really like that it's got, because obviously it's not intended to meet in the middle, so it's got really narrow fronts, and I think that gives it more of a classic shape than a sort of fogey shape. So, 
yes, I'm really, really pleased with this. And it, I used, like I said, a cotton interlock, which I got from um, eBay ages ago. It was in my stash. But it would be perfect in a lovely ponte or any relatively light or medium weight knit would be perfect. Um, I wouldn't go with something too chunky, otherwise you might lose the lovely um, shaping on the band, which is really nice. So yeah, okay, so uh, the next one I'm going to have to get changed for, so I'll be back in a minute. <clears throat> okay, so uh, the next make is this. And um, if you followed my last video, I did a sew along for the uh, Muse Patterns Jenna Cardigan. And um, I made the white one. I'll put the um, card here, or here, whichever side it um, ends up. Um, so I made the white one, it's got obviously cam snaps on it, and I showed you how to do that. So um, if you want a quick tutorial, then hop over there and give it a look. Um, but I also made this coral one, um, which featured in my last uh, month's makes, although I did make it this month. But I have actually made now a navy one, and I absolutely love it. I made this um, new look skirt ages ago, and um, it's a really, really simple skirt, but I've had trouble finding things to go with it. And this cardigan is perfect. This, um, I, I used cam snaps again, and I think these are called Midnight, the colour. Um, but, and this jersey, this is this uh, version is the one that actually fits the best. So I made the pink one first, and then I adjusted my pattern to take the sleeves in. As you can see, these fit much better. And I took the shoulders in slightly. Um, and I used um, the other cotton spandex. Um, I think it's called solid cotton spandex knit from Girl Charlie um, and it's so soft and it's a really nice weight but because it's got the spandex it's got a really good amount of recovery so um, the pink one I made and um, the sleeves are a little wide and the fit's not quite so good on the um, width so I took that in slightly um, but then I made the white one in the video and whilst I really like it um, because I used cotton interlock rather than with the spandex content it doesn't have a good amount of recovery so it is slightly larger and um, when you wear it throughout the day it tends to stretch out a little bit so if you go with something with a spandex or lycra content then it has a good amount of recovery and you won't find and you'll find that it doesn't stretch out over wear so yes I'm really really pleased with this and I'm really pleased that it goes with my beautiful skirt which is a new look pattern I can't remember the name of it but it's really simple and straightforward and I have done a sew along which shows you how to um, insert a zip as well. So again, I'll put the uh, card um, in the corner here. So if you want to check out that tutorial for this skirt, it's exactly the same skirt, but just in a, I think it was a strip of denim. You can check that out. So uh, yes, yeah, so that's three Jenna Cardis this month and the Blackwood. So very cardigan heavy, but that is it for the cardigans. So I have got, hmm, how many more things? I have got uh, two more things to show you. Um, but I also made, which I don't have it anymore because it was a gift for my niece Isla. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen the pictures of it. And I'm gonna try um, and insert a picture here. Um, I uh, made a um, reversible pinafore dress. And the pattern was, and I have real trouble saying it, I think it's called Purparita. Um, but she's on Etsy, she's got loads and loads of kids patterns which are really easy, really straightforward. It comes in really um, a really wide size range, I think it's something like six months to six years. And they do boys patterns, girls patterns, unisex patterns, really really great patterns. And I have got ideas to make, one for my uh, other niece Penny and my older niece Daisy. So we'll see how we get on. Um, and I've also got plans to make um, another pinafore and a romper for my lovely friend Sam who has got twin boy and girl. So I'm looking forward to making those. The uh, needle cord I used, like I said, in my Instagram post was from Fabrics Galore. Um, it was actually on sale. I don't know if they've got any more left because I haven't checked, but if they have, I'll put the link down below. Um, but for um, the romper that I'm planning to make, I've got some more but it is grey with stars on. So um, hopefully I'll be able to show you that in my plans video. So yes, um, that was really lovely and really easy. I would definitely recommend it. It's a really good pattern and a really good price for the size range that you get. So yes, like I said, I've got two more things to show you, so I'm gonna have to get changed. I'll be back in a minute. 
Okay, so I also made this, and as you can see, it is a sew over it Molly dress, and I uh, went for the long sleeve. Um, well, it comes with a long sleeve, but I have made mine three quarter length. Um, I have made it from. I have made it from this really, really lovely um, Pontaroma that is from Satisfaction, and I'm not just saying it, this is the nicest Pontaroma I have used ever. Um, I was saving this because um, if you've been following my vlogs for a while, you'll have seen that I made a story from this again. I'll put the card up here because I'll show you how to make it and how to attach a neckband successfully um, in the same um, fabric, and I'd been saving this for the weather to uh, turn more autumnal so that I needed uh, a warm dress. I love the Molly dress in a Pontaroma. It's so easy, just throw it on. And this time of year, it's perfect with tights and boots. I really love it. I think uh, I think this is the third one I've made and I always make it and think, why, why haven't I made more? Because it's just perfect. So it's really simple. It's got a kimono sleeve, so you can make it with um, a short sleeve. And I do have one with the shorter sleeve option. Um, really straightforward, no darts, no fastenings, nothing. So it's a really simple make. It's got a really wide hem as well. Let's see if I can show you. It's got a really wide hem, which I think um, is gives it a really nice finish. Um, my neckband went on really, really well. But seriously, this fabric is so soft and it's really warm as well. Um, I have spoken to Shona about it recently. And I have a feeling, I don't think she has any left in this colourway. And I have a feeling that she did mention that perhaps the um, supplier had, or, or the fabric uh, manufacturer had discontinued this colourway. They must be crazy, but they've discontinued this. But I know that she does at the moment have a lot of other colours in, including stripes. Really, really lovely. I'll definitely recommend it. Um, so yes, that's my next make. And I've got one more thing to show you. So I'm going to get changed and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so the last thing I have to show you is going to be difficult to show you, so um, I'm going to show you what I can, um, but it's actually a pair of trousers. It's the M7547 um, McCall's trousers, and uh, it's got the really lovely pockets on the front, uh, which I love. It's got darts at the back. I didn't put any pockets on because I wanted these as work trousers. Um, I'll insert a full length picture here so that you can actually see what they look like. Um, if you've been following me, uh, my previous videos, then you'll have seen that I have made this pattern quite a few times. And uh, the reason I keep going back to it is that uh, this pattern is like it's made for me. It's like having a trouser block. So I really love all the features. It's got really nice pocket options. It's got a wide leg, um, and as you know, I'm not a skinny fan. I don't really go with skinny. Um, so I got some really nice viscose flannel from, which I didn't even know was a thing, but anyway, I got some viscose flannel from Fabrics Galore when I went to the Hamo Fair with my sister. And it was really reasonable. I have a feeling it was eight pounds a metre. And I got two meters, so this pair of trousers cost me sixteen pounds. Um, and I also have probably enough left for a skirt as well. So um, it's a really economic pattern. I love the fit. On the pattern, um, it has a lap zip, but I have just um, inserted a invisible zip, and it's supposed to stop before the waistband, and then the waistband has a fastening on it and it overlaps whereas I've just as you can see made my invisible zip go all the way up to the top. Um, the only alteration that I make to this pattern, oh actually there's two alterations, no three actually. First of all I don't sew the faux fly because I think it's pointless especially on a pair of smart tailored trousers I don't think you need that. Secondly um, I've sewn this pattern before in a stretch denim and I've kept the seam allowances as um, suggested in the pattern but as I was sewing this from a woven non-stretch fabric I use a 3 8 seam allowance on the inseams but I use the standard 5 8 on the outside so um, yes just to give me a little bit more room and to be honest they fit just right um, I wouldn't have wanted them any looser but I also wouldn't have wanted them any tighter um, because you know I'm gonna be sitting at my desk wearing them all day 
Um, and the other alteration is the waistband. And like I've said in my previous videos, the waistband for these trousers is really short. So um, the way I do my waistbands is I cut the length to match the trousers and then I pin the front on and I don't ease that in at all but then the back I ease it in slightly so I only cut my waistband slightly smaller than the actual waist opening of the trousers excuse me so yes I am really in love with these trousers I've actually made another pair this month which will be featuring in my October um, makes because um, the weather turns and obviously you start thinking about autumn and what you need in your wardrobe. My summer wardrobe is done, um, so I'm moving on to autumn and winter now and things that I need um, in there. So, that's all my makes. It was a bit rambly, so I'm sorry about that. Um, I also wanted to uh, mention that um, it's been a year now since I've been vlogging and I just wanted to say a really big thank you to everyone that subscribed along the way. I think now I have over 4,000 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. Um, and it's been really amazing, an amazing experience for me. Um, at, anybody who knows me or anybody who has met me knows that I am actually quite a shy person. So to take the step to vlog um, was quite a big one for me and took um, a lot of thinking about before I actually jumped in um, and everybody has been so kind I've had so many kind comments everybody always comments I have obviously have regulars but I ha have new subscribers every month and it's amazing and the whole idea of my channel is to help other people to sew and to try and swerve the pitfalls that I myself have encountered along the way um, and I'm really really pleased to say that I have a lot of people that ask me questions in the comments, contact me through, through Instagram and I'm able to help those people to achieve success in their makes and that is ultimately what my channel is about. I love sewing and I want everybody to enjoy it as much as I do so I just want to say a really big thank you to everyone that supported me over the last year um, and subscribed to my channel and given me such wonderful feedback. I've obviously had some really lovely opportunities that have come out of it. Um, I've been able to get in touch with Shona from Sewers Faction, meet the ladies from Sewers Faction, the Sewers Faction blogger team who are all amazing. And hi uh, Susie and Leslie, I'm so sorry I haven't got to meet you yet but I'm sure, fingers crossed, that will happen one day. But um, I've had some amazing opportunities and met some wonderful people as a result so it's been fantastic. So um, gush over. Um, I'll be back soon with my plans because I do have a lot of plans for this month, so many I think my mind is going to explode. You go into a new season and there's all of a sudden so many things you want to make. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be back soon with that. But I hope everyone has a fab weekend and if you're sewing, good luck, I hope it goes well. So I'll see you soon. Bye!